All right, uh, I'm working on my Tsunami Mega Arcade game. I had the PC booting on my workbench. Now when I put it in the cab, um, I couldn't tell what it was doing because the Universal Video Converter was pretty much just showing me its splash screen. So I brought a monitor out here and I'm getting to this double C prompt and it just hangs. Uh, the other issue is when I had it running on the workbench the one time um, I was trying to figure out well how do you shut this down? Normally for an arcade machine you turn the power off. Well if you do that on a Windows 98 PC which is what this is next time it boots it's going to want to boot in safe mode. So I figured well maybe there's some kind of uh, hack done to Windows on these systems so it always boots in normal mode. So I put it in the cabinet and the first time I tried to boot I did see a safe mode screen. So I put a keyboard in here and half the time it boots to this double C prompt and doesn't do anything and the other half of the time it comes up with a screen that asks that well tells you that it was booted in safe mode and asks if you want to boot in normal mode or safe mode. So I put the keyboard in. It's a USB keyboard. I don't have a working PS2 keyboard. And I can hit normal, but then it complains that it wants to load drivers for the keyboard, and I don't have a mouse installed, so I can't click on the button to say cancel, don't load drivers for the keyboard. So I yank the keyboard out. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a vicious circle here. So again, I'm trying to figure out how these things are supposed to boot up and shut down. I have not find, found any documentation. I've posted asking on the forums, but nobody's replied. Let me shut it down here again. And we'll see what it does this time. This time I will not plug the keyboard in, so if it boots to the question about whether it wants to run in safe mode, I'll just let it. Last time I did that, it I think it just got stuck there and didn't go any further. So here we are, basically this machine telling me that it wants to load in safe mode. Okay, so I don't know how you shut it down without triggering it into safe mode unless you have to do it by opening the coin door, hitting the test switch, and somewhere in a test menu there's a window shutdown. That would be one option that would kind of make sense. Although it's kind of annoying. You'd think that the documentation I found would tell you that you need to do that to shut the game down. Um, pardon the lawnmower in the background. I've got this game in my garage. I do not have room for it in the game room right now. So this is as far as I got. When I had it plugged into the actual cabinet monitor through the universal video converter. So I don't know if it got hung here and never got further. Because once it blanked off of that screen, it just sat at the universal video converter screen. Oh, and it's rebooting. Are you out of memory? Uh, camera shut off in mid-recording there. I don't know why. I have a bad aura around electronics right now, I guess. Uh, <laughs> nothing wants to boot properly or stay running. Okay, and here we are back to this double C prompt, which it does. Now, this almost makes me think it's something to do with the fact that this is running off a compact flash card, not a hard drive. Sometimes it wants to boot and sometimes it doesn't. Maybe it's a timing issue. Um, the original hard drive is in there, and I plugged it in once, and it, it did seem to run. But again, half the time it seems to boot and hang at the CC prompt. 
and the other half it seems to want to load Windows. So right now I think my problem is that the PC is not reliably, reliably booting into Windows. For some reason, whether it's the compact flash adapter in there, or there's something wrong with the IDE channel, because I've only had it properly running once. <sighs> Shut it down again. So yeah, my my theory is that if you when you turn this cabinet off, it shuts Windows down. Windows comes up. It knows that it was power yanked out from under it, and it wasn't a graceful shutdown. So it goes into safe mode, and then somehow the, the game software, or through some kind of a Windows program or something that's running, when it comes up in safe mode, it realizes, "Hey, I'm in safe mode. I need to now shut down and reboot into normal mode." and then I'm just getting hung up because for whatever reason this PC just has an issue booting. A friend put a utility disk in a CD drive yeah, and I was right back to wanting to boot in safe mode again. Um, we put a utility disk in this machine. We ran the memory through checks for quite some time. Uh, the 256 megs of RAM on the motherboard and there were no errors. So if there is a problem, I don't think it's the system RAM. I think it is something to do with IDE and booting. Again, I'll just, oh, yeah, okay, that's normal, screen comes back for a sec, and now we're going to come up in safe mode, and then it's going to shut down, and if it goes to the C prompt, I'm stuck, but if it boots, I bet it would run, it's just, it's not booting, and I don't know why. I'd love to see somebody else do this and show me how these are supposed to boot up. So maybe I can get a better idea of what's going on. So it came up in safe mode and then it rebooted. And we'll see if we get back to the CC prompt hang. Or if it actually loads. I can get it to load, I'll just unplug the video from this LCD monitor, put it in the universal video converter, and that'll at least tell me if this thing will work once I solve the booting problem. However, now it looks like it's going to hang up. Oh, no, I see some activity on the drive light. Doing something, going somewhere. Riveting video footage of a computer booting. Um, gee, that would be riveting footage of a computer booting. Yeah, I have no drive activity. Still on the splash screen. Am I locked up? I don't remember it taking this long the one time I had it up and running. 
So yes, at this point, I think I have some kind of a uh, issue with the compact flash adapter, or the hard drive, or the IDE on the motherboard. Of course, I put three screws into the computer top case, so I can't pull it off and work on it in here. I have to pull the whole thing out of the machine. But yeah, we appear to be just locked up again. 